Today we will show you how to remove the A-pillar plastic cover in the Toyota RAV4 and we will also try to see if we can run uh, the wires, for example, for the dash cam behind the plastic and uh, we will try to see if we can avoid the airbag. First we will remove the weather stripping. So guys, there is two clips, one here, another over there, and now we have to pinch those two pins and remove clip. To remove the first clip, you'll have to use these pliers. You'll have to press on two pins on uh, each end of the clip, and this will allow us to remove the first clip. The clip is out. For the second clip, we'll use these needle nose pliers. out so again this is how they look so you have to press like that to release same as this one So to put it back, you have to simply push it, push it this way. And they are ready to be installed back. Besides allowing us to remove the A-pillar, the main purpose of these tails is to hold this plastic cover in place when this airbag deploys. So when it deploys, it goes down like this. So basically it, uh, it wants to throw away the plastic. So when it deploys, basically what we'll have it will go like this. And these uh, plastic tails will hold the cover in place, preventing uh, the cover from injuring uh, the driver and the passenger. Uh, we know that a lot of people had concerns whether or not installation of uh, the dashcam uh, cable will obstruct the airbag. Uh, right now we'll try to imitate a couple of uh, ways to install the cable and uh, show you what we think. So if we run the cable this way, let's say you have a dash cam here. Once it reaches this point, normally you have the A pillar here and uh, Normally, the wire would be taking this path 
underneath the weather stripping, between the weather stripping and the plastic A pillar cover. This way the wire is obstructing the airbag deployment at least uh, at this point and the rest of the wire going uh, behind the airbag but will it actually stop the airbag from being deployed in our opinion uh, it won't because the when the airbag goes down like this it will simply push the wire down like that I want to point out that this is our personal opinion it's not a professional advice and uh, when you do install the wires you have to use your own judgment for those of you who want to completely avoid the airbag there could be a solution as you can see right here we have a, a small groove or path for the wire between this end of the plastic and this one this is where it meets the windshield so you can try to put the wire in there this way and uh, when you install it back put it back it will basically go right here right here and then down down there so this way will allow you to completely avoid the airbag when you do the installation of the wires for the dash cam or for your rear view camera another point you even may not have to remove the plastic cover you will just simply have to uh, pull the edge and hide the wire behind the uh, plastic also i wanted to specifically uh, touch on uh, rear uh, camera installation there are multiple ways how you can run the wire you could even remove completely remove the roof liner and uh, guide the wire this way but it's a pretty complicated installation that's why if you choose this way of installation the wire will overlap with the airbag at this point and uh, if you keep going and run it between the roof liner and uh, the plastic cover and the weather stripping all the way down uh, all the way back uh, yes it will overlap with the airbag but as we pointed out before again in our opinion we think that airbag will simply push it out and uh, it won't affect the deployment but as we said before uh, it's completely up to you and uh, just simply use your judgment when you uh, run these wires before you install the cover back uh, make sure that these clips are fully inserted and uh, now we can put it back Thank you. 